A big development has taken place in Mumbai uh, a day after a Supreme Court judgment. Uh, now, uh, action has been taken against activist Tista Setalwa. She has been detained. Remember only this morning an interview by Home Minister Amit Shah where he very openly named Tista Setalwad, uh, quoting that uh, Supreme Court judgment, he says. Uh, he also alleged that uh, Tista Setalwad uh, misused uh, a gullible uh, Zakia Jafri and tried to mount this case on the basis of uh, false allegations or baseless allegations. Uh, immediately after that charge, now uh, in the evening, this action uh, has been followed, but uh, this is a different case. Uh, this is a case uh, uh, pertaining to her NGO, uh, where there are charges of forgery and falsification of records. We have Sukirti joining us with all the latest. Sukirti, can you tell us what exactly is the uh, allegation against her uh, that the Gujarat ATS is now in Mumbai to detain her? Uh, well, yes, Sanket, if we go by the police complaint that has been registered against her by the Ahmedabad Crime Branch, there are two parts to this complaint. The larger part of the complaint cites the Supreme Court judgment, uh, which had said, uh, it, which was based on the plea, uh, which was filed by Zakia Jafri, but in that particular plea, uh, Ms. Tisa Setalwar was a co-petitioner. And in the verdict, the Supreme Court had said that the plea was filed just to keep the pot boiling. People who abuse the process of law in this manner, they should be put behind the door and they should be proceeded with in accordance with law. Now, those are the extracts from the Supreme Court judgment that the police complaint uh, that has been filed against her uh, cites that particular extract. But in addition to that, as my colleague Arvind Gunasekar has been reporting, it also says that in addition to that Supreme Court judgment, uh, it is also independent ground uh, for finding out the behind the scene criminal conspiracy and financial and other benefits, inducements for commission of various serious offenses in collusion with other individuals, entities and organizations, uh, which seems to indicate that the point that you were mentioning, that uh, her NGO also faces certain allegations with uh, regards to uh, how, uh, you know, there are allegations involving the fact that there were baseless statements given by this NGO. Uh, the Gujarat government had said during the hearings in this case uh, that Ms. Tisa Setalwad and their NGO tutored the witnesses in the case. So many other allegations are also involved here. So one on one hand, the police crime branch of Ahmedabad uh, is citing the Supreme Court judgment, but it is also saying that various other financial collusion related matters also need to be investigated. So these are the two grounds on uh, which we are arresting her. And apart from Ms. Tisa Setalwar, the complaint also mentions uh, two senior police officials associ associated with the Gujarat riots at that point of time, which is Sanjeev Bhatt and Adi Shri Kumar. They've also been known in this particular complaint, along with Ms. Tisa Setalwar, on the grounds that the SP uh, judgment yesterday had mentioned that these police officials made unsubstantiated, that's the term the Supreme Court used, unsubstantiated allegations against then Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi. Uh, yes. Now, uh, Sukirti, can you also tell us uh, uh, what are the possible legal options here as far as Tista Setalwad is concerned? Because uh, obviously, uh, you know, there will be, there is one a legal argument here and one will be a political argument juxtaposing this with the statements of uh, uh, the Home Minister Amit Shah in an interview uh, earlier. So, uh, what happens from here on as far as options are concerned? Um well, Sanket, as far as options are concerned, because the crime branch has chosen to cite the Supreme Court judgment, uh, one thing that Ms. Uh, Setalwar's lawyers will try doing is that, uh, what are the portions in the judgment where Ms. Setalwar has been named directly or uh, the Supreme Court has uh, named her? Because when the Supreme Court says all those who indulge in such abuse of the process of law should be put behind the dock, a dock the court does not name anyone, but because the plea has two petitioners, Ms. Rakhya Jafri, as well as uh, uh, Ms. Tista Setalwad, so the police is going to use that against her. However, there were certain other uh, allegations and arguments that the Gujarat government had put forth in the court saying that Ms. Tista Setalwad has no locus standi when it comes to this plea. Uh, she's not involved. She's just exploiting Ms. Rakhya Jafri. So all of that regarding that the Supreme Court judgment says that we are not going to deliberate in our judgment on what Ms. Tista Setalwad's locus standi on the matter is. We will 
keep our focus to what Ms. Zakia Jaffe has said. So just to get into the nitty gritties of things, Ms. Uh, Setalwar's lawyers could tomorrow come and say that, uh, you know, the court did not even get into the fact whether Ms. Setalwar was involved in that plea. So the court was anyway focusing on Ms. Zakia Jaffe's uh, submissions in court and not on Ms. Setalwar. So those are the kind of finer things that uh, uh, could go in uh, Ms. Setalwar's favor. However, the tricky part is that the crime branch has added that all of these other financial collusion matters, these conspiracies uh, that were involved, all of that has to be also investigated and that is why she has been arrested. And that is a more uh, riskier and a more trickier part to navigate considering her NGO has already been under investigation and uh, financial matters and their investigations tend to go on for a very long time. So uh, the authorities would uh, at any point say that we need to question her or we need to seize documents or we need to probe all of that material. So by citing both the Supreme Court judgment and by uh, mentioning all of these financial collusion matters, uh, the authorities are trying to keep their case stronger and it might not be as easy for Ms. Petalwar to get away.